these magnetic field gradients, which we produce very rapidly, can actually induce currents in the body. And of course these currents uh, can produce a number of uh, irritating effects. The first one is that they produce tingling sensations uh, in the shoulders, the arms and so on. But uh, and it can, they can also produce what we call muscle twitch, where you find uh, that you know the, uh, when the gradient switches, the body twitches like this, which is uh, irritating for the patient if they don't understand what's going on. But worst of all, of course, if they're strong enough, you can produce uh, interactions with the heart and induce uh, either cardiac fibrillation or um, a full uh, heart attack. And that would be uh, fatal, obviously, for a patient in the magnet. So it's, it's a serious problem. And when you want to do faster and faster imaging, as people want to do, then the problem gets worse because it depends on the speed at which you're switching the gradients. Well, there have been uh, hundreds, thousands of scans where there's been no uh, problem with patients with the current uh, arrangements that exist. But I have to say that um, the reason that there are no reported cases of uh, people having uh, cardiac fibrillation or any of the other problems that I mentioned is because through safety reasons the all the current commercial scanners have been slowed down. They do not switch gradients very rapidly and as a result the images that they get whether they're doing EPI or other standard imaging techniques the fastest scans you can get there are taking something like eight uh, eight or so um, seconds. Now that sounds fast, but of course, in terms of a heartbeat, it's not fast. So what we're saying is if you want to get really fast images with no emotional artifact, you really have to pull the stops out and go very rapidly. And once you do that, you uh, immediately fall foul of the safety regulations. But we can solve that problem uh, in fact, have solved that problem by effectively what we call uh, active E-field screening. So we can screen against the electric field which is in introduced and it does require a s special design of gradient which, which we've designed and uh, are publishing.